Hey guys, Tarantula Sam here and welcome to my channel. For this video I just wanted to quickly show you my arboreal sling enclosures that I've made. Um, this one here I made for my avicularia avicularia and over here I've got housed my Salmopius cambridgei. These were really simple to build. There's only three things uh, that I used to build these. Um, the main piece of the enclosure is this uh, matchbox car display case. I bought this uh, from Hobby Lobby in a pack of six. Come in a box like this. Price on these is $7.99, but you can get them for 40% off if you just get one of their weekly coupons. Um, so I think they end up a great deal because you get six of them. Um, so they're just turned up on end like this. Um, for the door, I have one of these acrylic hinges. I bought about 20 of these off eBay for uh, less than $5. Uh, they were pretty inexpensive. They did take a while to get to me because they were shipped from Hong Kong. But they did eventually get to me. And the one last piece that I used was this little nail that I cut to act as a pin to hold the door shut. Um, so the build process on these is pretty simple. I drilled holes in all the sides of the main body of the container to get good ventilation. Um, and then on the front of these... The lid that comes on the container, I cut it all the way across, leaving about an inch for the bottom to hold the substrate. Um, and then I glued that piece in. I cut it very carefully. I used a Dremel tool. And then as you can see, for the top larger part of the lid, which ends up the door, I cut a groove on each side of just the lip so it'll allow it to swing open once the hinge is glued on. You can see that lip that's been cut in there on each side. Just did it very carefully. Also used the Dremel tool. Um, and then the last thing I did was drilled the hole very carefully for the pin to slide down and unlock the door. So as you can see, there's the hole. These have a little lip on them, which allows me to drill the hole for the lock pin. So I think that works out really well. Um, so once you take the pin out, the uh, door swings down on the hinge. So you can get in and put prey in there for your sling or uh, fill up the water dish. And it works out really great. Um, that bottom piece of the lid is glued in. Uh, and for the glue on this one, I used a different glue than for the other one. Here, let me lock the pin back in here so the little guy doesn't get out while I'm filming. All right, so as you can see, this one's a little cloudy, and this one's more clear. I used super glue on this one, and I didn't really like how it turned out. And on this one, I used this oops, Scotch High Performance Repair Glue, and I think this looks a lot nicer. It's a lot uh, more clear when it dries. And also, the one other thing I wanted to point out, you want to be a little careful uh, when you're cutting out those grooves on the end to not uh, make a gap. This one I made a little gap, so I've got a piece of tape just blocking that uh, area right there to make sure the sling can't get out. I don't think it can. It's probably too big, but I'm going to wait till it molts one more time before I take it off. Um, so that... That's how I put these together. I hope this was helpful for you guys who are trying to get ideas on how to house your slings. If you guys want them to be more of a sling that you display, I think that these end up looking really nice. Um, for the main uh, piece of wood in there, I just found a stick out at a park from a, a tree. And uh, I uh, took it home. I washed it really well. Um, with hot water and then I baked it in my oven at about 350 for about 20 minutes um, and then I kind of cut it down to the shape I wanted and hot glued some of the pieces together and then hot glued the uh, fake plants on that's kind of how I put those together but uh, both these things are doing really well on these I think they look really nice and I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you like these kind of videos um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks